Yashar Jasher 82. And the children of Yashar El proceeded from Rafidim. And they encamped in the wilderness of Sianai. In the third month from their going forth from Mitzrayim. At that time came Reuel the Midiani, the father in law of Moshe, with Sipora, his daughter, and her two sons. For he had heard of the wonders of Yahuwah, which he had done to Yasharael, that he had delivered them from the hand of Mitzrayim. And Reuel came to Moshe, to the wilderness where he was encamped, where was the mountain of Elohim. And Moshe went forth to meet his father-in-law with great honor, and all Yasharael was with him. And Reuel and his children remained amongst Yasharael for many days. And Reuel knew Yahuwah from that day forward. And in the third month from the children of Yasharael's departure from Mitzrayim, on the sixth day thereof, Yahuwah gave to Yasharael the ten Devarim on Mount Sinai. And all Yasharael heard all these commandments, and all Yasharael rejoiced exceedingly in Yahuwah on that day. And the glory of Yahuwah rested upon Mount Sinai. And he called to Moshe, and Moshe came in the midst of a cloud and ascended the mount. And Moshe was upon the mount forty days and forty nights. He ate no bread and drank no water. And Yahuwah instructed him in the commandments and judgments in order to teach the children of Yasharael. And Yahuwah wrote the ten Devarim, which he had commanded the children of Yasharael, upon two sapphire stones, which he gave to Moshe to command the children of Yasharael. And at the end of forty days and forty nights, when Yahuwah had finished speaking to Moshe on Mount Sinai. Then Yahuwah gave to Moshe the sapphire stones, written with the finger of Elohim. And when the children of Yasharael saw that Moshe tarried to come down from the mount, they gathered round Aharon and said, as for this man, Moshe, we know not what has become of him. Now therefore rise up, make unto us an Elohim, who shall go before us, so that you shall not die. And Ahran was greatly afraid of the people, and he ordered them to bring him gold, and he made it into a molten calf for the people. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, before he had come down from the mount, Get you down, for your people whom you did bring forth from Mitzrayim have corrupted themselves. They have made to themselves a molten calf and have bowed down to it. Now therefore, leave me that I may consume them from off the earth, for they are a stiff-necked people, 
And Moshe besought the countenance of Yahuwah, and he prayed to Yahuwah for the people on account of the calf which they had made. And he afterward descended from the mount, and in his hands were the two sapphire stones, which Elohim had given him to command Yahshara'el. And when Moshe approached the camp and saw the calf which the people had made, the anger of Moshe was kindled and he broke the tablets under the mount. And Moshe came to the camp and he took the calf and burned it with fire and ground it till it became fine dust and strewed it upon the water and gave it to Yashara'el to drink. And there died of the people by the swords of each other about 3,000 men who had made the calf. And on the morrow, Moshe said to the people, I will go up to Yahuwah, perchance I may make atonement for your sins, which you have sinned to Yahuwah. And Moshe again went up to Yahuwah, and he remained with Yahuwah forty days and forty nights. And during the forty days did Moshe entreat Yahuwah in behalf of the children of Yashara'el, and Yahuwah hearkened to the prayer of Moshe. And Yahuwah was entreated of him in behalf of Yashara'el. Then spoke Yahuwah to Moshe to hew two stone tablets and to bring them up to Yahuwah who would write upon them the ten Devarim. Now Moshe did so and he came down and hewed the two tablets and went up to Mount Sinai to Yahuwah and Yahuwah wrote the ten Devarim upon the tablets. And Moshe remained yet with Yahuwah forty days and forty nights and Yahuwah instructed him in commandments and judgments to impart to Yashara'el. And Yahuwah commanded him respecting the children of Yashara'el, that they should make a sanctuary for Yahuwah, that his name might rest therein. And Yahuwah showed him the likeness of the sanctuary and the likeness of all its vessels, and at the end of the forty days, Moshe came down from the mount, and the two tablets were in his hand. And Moshe came to the children of Yashara'el and spoke to them all the words of Yahuwah, and he taught them Torah, commandments and judgments which Yahuwah had taught him. And Moshe told the children of Yashara'el the word of Yahuwah that a sanctuary should be made for him to dwell amongst the children of Yashara'el. And the people rejoiced greatly at all the good which Yahuwah had spoken to them through Moshe. And they said, We will do all that Yahuwah has spoken to you. And the people rose up like one man, and they made generous offerings to the sanctuary of Yahuwah. And each man brought the offering of Yahuwah for the work of the sanctuary. 
and for all its service. And all the children of Yashadael brought each man of all that was found in his possession for the work of the sanctuary of Yahuwah, gold, silver, and brass, and everything that was serviceable for the sanctuary. And all the wise men who were practiced in work came and made the sanctuary of Yahuwah, according to all that Yahuwah had commanded. Every man in the work in which he had been practiced, and all the wise men in heart made the sanctuary and its furniture and all the vessels for the holy service. As Yahuwah had commanded Moshe. And the work of the sanctuary of the tabernacle was completed at the end of five months. And the children of Yashara'el did all that Yahuwah had commanded Moshe. And they brought the sanctuary and all its furniture to Moshe, like unto the representation which Yahuwah had shown to Moshe. So did the children of Yashara'el. And Moshe saw the work, and behold, they did it as Yahuwah had commanded him. So Moshe blessed them.